Imagine a world where the stars are no longer just a beautiful backdrop, but a battleground for the most powerful nations on Earth. A place where satellites, once our trusted guides and communicators, become targets for destruction. And the very technologies we've developed to explore and understand the cosmos are now weaponized for a new kind of war. A war in space. This isn't science fiction anymore, my friends. It's a reality that's unfolding right before our eyes. And the stakes couldn't be higher. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the space technician. In today's episode, we'll delve into the alarming revelations from the 2024 Global Counterspace Capabilities Report, which exposes the rapid advancement of space weaponry by Russia and China. We'll explore the cutting-edge technologies behind these weapons, the potential consequences of a space conflict, and what needs to be done to prevent a catastrophic outcome. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. First off, let's talk about the big players in this space race. The United States, Russia, and China. According to the 2024 Global Counterspace Capabilities Report, these three nations are at the forefront of developing some seriously impressive and frankly concerning space weaponry. Let's start with the United States, the undisputed leader in space technology. Their space situational awareness SSA capabilities are truly unparalleled, thanks to a vast network of ground-based radars, telescopes, and space-based assets. The US relies on cutting-edge systems like the Space Fence, a radar that can track objects as small as a marble in low Earth orbit, LEO, and the Geosynchronous Space Situational Awareness Program, GSAP, a constellation of satellites designed to monitor and inspect other spacecraft in geostationary Earth orbit, GEO. But the US isn't just watching, they're also preparing. They've conducted numerous tests of co-orbital anti-satellite ASAT technologies, such as the Microsatellite Technology Experiment, MITEX, and the Robotic Servicing of Geosynchronous Satellites RSGS, program. These projects demonstrate the US's ability to develop sophisticated rendezvous and proximity operations, also known as RPO capabilities, which could potentially be used for offensive purposes. Moreover, the US has a history of developing Direct Ascent Anti-Satellite or DAASAT weapons, like the SM-3 missile, which successfully intercepted a defunct satellite in 2008. With their advanced missile defense systems, such as the Ground-Based Mid-Course Defense GMD, and the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System BMDS, the US possesses the technical prowess to create DAASATs capable of targeting satellites in LEO, medium Earth orbit, MEO, and even GEO. The US is also at the forefront of directed energy weapons research, with programs like the High Energy Laser Weapon System HELWS, and the Counter Electronic High Power Microwave Advanced Missile Project CHAMP. These systems could potentially be adapted for anti satellite purposes offering a more precise and less destructive means of disabling or degrading enemy spacecraft. As we've seen, the United States has a formidable array of counterspace capabilities. However, they're not the only players in this high-stakes game. Russia and China have been rapidly increasing their own space weaponry, raising concerns about a potential arms race in orbit. So. Let's shift our focus to Russia, a nation with a long history of space exploration and a growing arsenal of counter space capabilities. Since 2010, Russia has been actively testing technologies for RPO and co orbital ASAT operations. Their Cosmos 2499 and Cosmos 2504 rockets have demonstrated the ability to perform complex maneuvers and close approaches to other spacecraft raising concerns about their true intentions. In 2021, Russia made a bold statement by successfully testing a DA-ASAT weapon, the Noodle missile, 
against one of their own defunct satellites. This test showcased Russia's ability to strike targets in LEO, generating thousands of pieces of debris and drawing international condemnation. But Russia's counterspace ambitions don't stop there. They're heavily investing in electronic warfare capabilities to counter U.S. space superiority. The Krasuka-4 and the Krasuka-2 mobile electronic warfare systems are designed to jam satellite communications and radar signals, potentially disrupting military operations and civilian services that rely on space assets. China, another space powerhouse, is not far behind in the development of counterspace technologies. Like Russia, China has conducted multiple tests of RPO capabilities, with satellites like the Shijian-12, Shijian-15, and Aolong-1, demonstrating the ability to perform close approaches and even simulated docking with other spacecraft. China's DAASAT capabilities are arguably the most advanced among the three nations. In 2007, China shocked the world by destroying one of its own weather satellites with a modified DF-21 ballistic missile, creating a massive cloud of space debris. Since then, China has continued to refine its DAASAT technology with the SC-19 and DN-3 missiles believed to be capable of targeting satellites in LEO. China's counterspace doctrine is centered around the concept of information dominance which aims to control and exploit the electromagnetic spectrum to gain a strategic advantage. To this end, China is developing a wide range of electronic warfare capabilities, including satellite jammers, spoofers, and directed energy weapons. But it's not just the big three who are getting in on the action. Other countries like India, France, Japan, and Israel are developing their own counterspace capabilities including missile defense-based DAASATs, electronic warfare, and SSA. While their demonstrated capabilities remain limited compared to the US, Russia, and China, it's clear that the space arms race is heating up. The implications of these developments are profound, as Russia and China continue to advance their counterspace capabilities. The risk of a conflict extending into space grows ever higher. The debris generated by destructive ASAT tests poses a threat to all nation space assets, and the use of electronic warfare could have far-reaching consequences for both military and civilian life. Now, what are these space weapons? Let me tell you, spacers. DAASATs are essentially missiles that are launched from the ground or from an aircraft to destroy a satellite in orbit. They typically use a kinetic kill vehicle, which is a fancy way of saying a bullet, to physically collide with the satellite and destroy it. The challenge with DAASATs is that they create a lot of debris in orbit, which can pose a significant risk to other satellites and spacecraft. Co-orbital ASATs, on the other hand, are satellites that are placed into orbit and can maneuver close to their targets to disrupt or destroy it. These can use a variety of methods, such as jamming signals, using directed energy weapons like lasers, or even physically colliding with the target satellite. The advantage of co-orbital ASATs is that they can be more precise and potentially avoid creating debris. But they also require more advanced technology and are harder to detect. Electronic warfare is another key area of focus for counterspace capabilities. This involves jamming or spoofing satellite signals to disrupt communications, navigation, or other functions. For example, Russia has been known to jam GPS signals in conflict zones, like Ukraine and Syria, to make it harder for adversaries to navigate and target their forces. But if war were to break out in space, what would be the consequences? In summary, it could have devastating effects on our daily lives. Satellites play a critical role in everything from communication and navigation to weather forecasting and financial transactions. A widespread attack on satellites could disrupt these services and cause chaos on a global scale. 
But it's not just the immediate effects that are concerning. The creation of debris from destroyed satellites could make parts of Earth's orbit unusable for decades or even centuries. This could hinder our ability to explore and use space for peaceful purposes, like scientific research and commercial activities. So, what can be done to prevent a space war? International cooperation and diplomacy are key. Countries need to work together to establish norms and rules for responsible behavior in space. This includes things like prohibiting testing of destructive ASAT weapons, sharing information about space activities, and developing guidelines for safe and sustainable use of Earth's orbit. There are also technical solutions that can help mitigate the risks of a space conflict. For example, satellites can be designed with more resilient and redundant systems to withstand attacks. Governments and companies can invest in better SSA capabilities to track and characterize objects in orbit, making it easier to detect and respond to potential threats. The possibility of a space war is a serious concern that requires attention from the international community. The development of counter-space capabilities by multiple countries highlights the need for responsible behavior and cooperation in space. As we continue to explore new space for a variety of purposes, it's crucial that we work together to ensure its sustainability and security for generations to come. Because, let's be real, my friends, a world without space would be a pretty boring place. Thanks for watching, spacers. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a beat of the excitement here on the channel. This is the Space Technician signing off for now, and I'll see you, Space Cowboys, in the next one.